you ever wonder why it's so hard to achieve your goals? Well, it's actually not. You have that ability within you. But what you need is a tool to help you get started. SMART goals are a way that you can break down your goals into actionable steps. I'm Lisa Chapel. I'm a doctor of nursing practice, a professor, and a coach. I enjoy helping nurses, students, and recipients of care take action and become more empowered and resilient. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then I'd we'll love to have you stick around. Let's get started. One way to break down your goals into actionable steps is using a SMART format. That stands for specific, measurable, attainable or achievable, relevant, timely or time bound. How do I make a SMART goal? And what does that have anything to do with something I've been wanting to achieve? Well, in nursing, we encourage students to write SMART goals for identifying a plan for service learning and also for their care plans for clinical. In collaboration with patients, nurses will make a plan of care and that has to be broken down into achievable and measurable steps. How do you get started in writing a SMART goal? Well, think about something that you've wanted to achieve for a very long time. For me, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel and since I was, well, let's see, since YouTube started really, since I watched my first YouTube video, I've wanted to start a YouTube channel and I've always said to myself, someday I'm going to have a YouTube channel. However, I it's 10 years later and I still don't have one. I still think about it. I still dream about it. But the reason it hasn't happened yet is because I haven't taken action. I decided to use the SMART goal format in order to set some goals for myself so that I could move forward toward achieving my dream of starting a YouTube channel. So the first thing that I did was purchase a course, how to start a YouTube channel. And if I knew if I could just set 10 minutes a day aside, that I could probably do that, that make it feel more attainable to me. And so the way that you can do that is coming up with a plan. And then you could use the SMART criteria to measure if you have a good goal. And so an example of this is by April of 2021, I will put out my first YouTube video. But even that is a little bit, it's a bit too broad. And if I think about it, I, I don't feel like that's something that I can even achieve. So I need to know how I'm going to achieve the goal. Maybe you have a big dream or a goal to get a new job. So you could set the goal and say, well, by April, I'm going to have a new job. However, that's probably not specific enough. And so what is something that you could do today or this week that could help you to achieve that goal? And so it might just be that every day for 10 minutes a day until April 1st, I will research about jobs that I'm interested in. So that makes it into something that sounds a lot more achievable, a lot more palatable when you break it down into actionable steps like that. So what are some goals that you have? Do you have goals on how to be a better partner in your marriage? How about how to have a better mindset and have more balance in your life? What about a goal for your career or your personal satisfaction? So I'm curious, comment below, what is a goal or a project that you're working on that you could apply the SMART format to? How can you break that goal down into three SMART goals? So focus on one thing that you can do today for 10 minutes and set it as a repetitive goal that you will do for a certain time frame. And then apply the SMART criteria. Does it fit? Is the goal specific? Is it measurable? Measurable meaning by the end of the time frame that you specified that you could go back and evaluate, did I achieve that goal? Attainable as in it's something that you could do right now. Is it specific that it outlines a plan for you that you could apply step by step and achieve that particular portion of the goal. And I think that's important. You don't need to write out SMART goals for every single step of the way just yet. Your goal is to just come up with three 
SMART goals that you could write right now. And maybe one is just something that you could achieve today or within the next week. Then the second goal is what would you like to achieve by next month? Then you can start looking at maybe a three month picture. Right now, that's all I want you to worry about. Come up with three goals that you could start today, within one month, and within three months, and give that a try. My husband is a quadriplegic, and so he's paralyzed from his chest down. He's the best. He, he might not call it a smart goal, but he's so good at breaking down big goals into smaller steps so that he can achieve them. For example, a big goal for him might just be, how am I going to get into the car? from a wheelchair. And then once he's in the car, it might be how am I going to get my chair now into the car behind me so that I can drive the car using hand controls. And so he's very, very good at breaking down big things that seem unmanageable into small manageable steps. And that's what I want you to do. Think of a big goal that you have or a project that you're working on. Break that down into three manageable steps. And then I want to hear about your progress. So then I'm going to check in with you see how you're doing on your goals. Another thing you can do is be accountable. So tell someone about those goals. Have them follow up with you or even put into your calendar as a scheduled reminder to follow up with yourself in one week, one month, and then in three months with that goal. And if you achieve that, I will be surprised if you haven't set more goals that you can continue even achieving that dream further. Sometimes it's our own minds that are the barrier to moving us forward. And so we have to push through those barriers. And sometimes that just means setting really small baby steps for ourselves that we could make the progress toward that next goal. In nursing clinical, this might look like patient wants to be able to walk again on their own after surgery. Let's say they've had a, a hip replacement surgery. You break it down into smaller steps. By the end of the shift, the patient will walk 10 steps from one side of the room to the chair. And then that's the goal. And then at the end of the shift, it can be measured. Did they achieve that goal? And if not, why? So that's the other piece of SMART goals is that evaluation. So you measure and see, was it achieved or not? But then you want to evaluate that goal. And so when evaluating, you're going to look at, well, was it a reasonable goal or do I need to make it even more achievable and so maybe it's not 10 steps maybe it's just three steps and that's all that's manageable or even one step or even just being able to sit on the edge of the bed for 30 seconds and then build up to one minute and then build up to two minutes you will be surprised at how just setting these little goals and having little achievements paves the path for being able to have bigger goals that you can achieve more easily. Stay tuned because I am setting my goals here to start my YouTube channel. And initially it seems overwhelming to record a video a week, especially with everything that I have going on with my teaching my classes, taking care of a daughter and being a wife. And so that sounds a little unmanageable. However, when I think about uploading a video every other week, that makes it feel more manageable. And so that's what I'm going to start with. And then at the end of one month, if I've uploaded two videos, I will feel that I've accomplished my goal. If not, then maybe I need to back it down to just one video. But the important thing is that I'm always moving forward and taking action to achieve my big goal. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you more in more videos.